Hi everybody, this is Kevin with Garrison Dental Solutions and we are here today with the esteemed Dr. J.D. Corey. Oh man. Yeah, <laughs> no, no pressure there, no pressure there. And uh, Dr. Corey has helped us along through the process of developing the new Fusion Interior Matrix System. So Dr. Corey, one of the questions that uh, a customer has posed for us is on an anterior, let's say eight or nine and uh, maybe a class four where, where the front of it has been beveled uh, significantly to help blend that composite right. in place. So what might be a good technique? You know, where would you put the band and, and how do you make sure that you get the bevel filled all the way? Sure. Um, for me, I'm a huge believer in large bevels. I like to bevel these preps quite a bit, not only because I get better retention of the composite but i also they blend into the tooth a lot better um so i'm a big believer in doing that and that's part of kind of built into most of my preps these larger bevels so for me that was an important thing too and what i've noticed is it's more of a question of where i'm directing my finger pressure than anything okay. else okay? okay so what i've found is if i you know, let's say we're talking about um, this number seven here, and this is kind of where where we're going to place this band. Um, now, if I put too much pressure, kind of here, oh, up towards up at the top of the band, more towards the the mesial. So I think it'd be easier to see it here. There we go. If I'm putting too much pressure with my finger here, then it might cut off that composite from being able to flow to the facial. So my pressure is going to be more over this way. I basically, I don't want to cut off the flow of that composite to the bevel. And as long as your bevel is there and you can condense that composite into the matrix, again, that matrix is not going to deflect away towards your margin, um, but it's also rigid enough to where if you bevel this, it's going to flow into that spot. And now if you've got a little bit of void or unfilled sure. bevel, what, what would you do with You that? could come back through and, and add a, you know, a layer of composite. I think it's a legitimate concern, but thankfully I haven't had that problem. If it's something like this tooth specifically, where you have, you're, you're wrapping a huge amount towards the facial, my bevel on something like this is probably gonna be out to here. Okay. And so on something like this, I'm not going to restore with the matrix in this position necessarily because I don't, I want to shape the facial. I'm probably going to place this from the, from, the from the lingual. Correct. Got it. Now, oh, well, my, certainly. Yeah. my bevel on the lingual is not going to be nearly as big as my bevel on the facial because my bevel on the facial has more to do with the aesthetics and um, the bevel on the lingual, not so much. I will still want that retention, so I do add a little bit of a bevel, but you know, in terms of my larger bevels where it gets really thin and tapered like that, that's more of a facial bevel for me. And so in this situation, I would restore this tooth like this, and then I have full control over where the composite goes on the facial, sure. what the incisal edge Absolutely. looks like. The only thing that I don't have control of, which is a good thing in this situation, is that interproximal anatomy that we talked about that's just really hard to shape with a burr, um, you know, and that's the, that's the seal. That's the seal that I want to be perfect so that this thing doesn't stain and it lasts the patient a long time. This area here is the key to the restoration lasting a long time. This area here is the aesthetic key and, you know, that's... I want control over that. I want my composite to blend into that. But this area here is, that's going to be the taken care of. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be taken care of with this system. And that's what I love about this system. Listen, I mean, there's a lot of other systems you can use to restore uh, a tooth like this. This is a difficult tooth to restore. You could do it a lot of different ways. But with this, I, I don't have problems with that interproximal anatomy. And I can get a more predictable marginal seal because I don't have to worry about that band deflecting away from the tooth. 